What's going on, everybody? Today, we're back with brand new action figure news, or I guess, technically, is it brand new, Brad? Is it brand new? We do have, like, a couple things to discuss here today, but one of the main points of making this video, and I, it actually was dawned upon me last night on our WhatNot stream. If you guys missed our WhatNot stream last night, big mistake, because it was epic. It was epic. We had lots of great things happening over there. It was a fantastic time. If you guys came out for that stream, I greatly appreciate it, but we had a lot of fun, as always, in the chat, interacting with everybody. We gave away, like, seven or eight figures, I think, for free, completely free, and then even the people that bought something, there's a buyer appreciation deal that goes on over there, man. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can sign up. I don't know when the next show's gonna be. I'm gonna try and do one maybe before the end of the year, but we will see lots of stuff to ramp up here as we approach the end of 2024, which as a thought makes me sick, but as we get into it, man, this actually dawned to me. Somebody broke this to me. Did you know that there is a Chase WWE Ultimate Edition figure coming in WWE Ultimate Edition? Edition Series 24. Now, if you guys were aware of that, and I'm sure you were aware of that, I'm sure it's been posted up by Ringside and like these other things, but I don't think it was really made a known thing, and uh, I'll, I'll get into why I think that is, uh, why that is, but I want to discuss it here, man. WWE Ultimate Edition Series 24. This is going to be the next set in our WWE Ultimate Edition Series. It's going to contain Solo Sokoa, it's going to contain Bray Wyatt, and the last figure in the set is going to be Finn Balor. This this figure was revealed to us at San Diego Comic-Con. If you guys don't remember, it was, you know, it's got one new head sculpt, which kind of bummed me out. It's a great Finn Balor in certain ways, but then in other ways, I'm pretty bummed out about it, and we will get into all those things and what I think about it and everything like that. We'll break into it, obviously. Still looking forward to the figure in different ways, but in other ways, I am not because I'm sure it's just going to be and it's going to be the Ultimate Edition equivalent. They're just going to put an Ultimate Edition torso on the existing Finn Balor crotch and legs. And then they're going to put probably the new Elite Kofi feet in there. Or, you know, the new John Cena shoe mold, which is technically the Kofi Kingston shoe mold nowadays. But... It's the updated version of the John Cena shoe mold that I used to tear down forever and ever, obviously. But this is the regular edition. You have the Finn Balor in white. It's got no cloth goods. Or I guess maybe it comes with cloth goods. Does it even say? It says it's going to... Balor comes wearing black and white color block tights with stripe design, textured details, and purple bandana hanging out of his back pocket. Da -da 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 -da. Balor's accessories include two additional sets of hands for screen accurate. Yeah, maybe he doesn't include a jacket. Surely he's going to include a jacket, though. Or a Judgment Day t-shirt, for the love of God. But I was really intrigued with the sleeves designs here. I like how you have the sleeves on and then the sleeves off because they haven't gotten any of his new tattoos in a figure yet. And without wrist tape, makes for a really cool promo gear or something like that. So that is cool. I do like that. In certain ways, I do like the Ultimate Edition. But there's a Chase variant of this figure. So you're telling me there's a Chase variant of a Finn Balor Ultimate Edition, and I didn't know anything about it. I guess that would be my own fault, obviously, but that kind of bummed me out. So if you go over to Ringside Collectibles, and this, again, became aware to me. This is somebody posted this up in my WhatNot stream, and I'm like, whoa, 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 what do you mean, Brad? And it's listed up on Ringside Collectibles right now. It is $49.99 Chase Variant Black Finn Balor WWE Ultimate Edition 24. It's got an image of Finn there, which is weird because there's no render of this figure. There's no nothing. Thing. So I guess it's going to be one of those cases where, you know, similar to Elite 114 with the Usos, you get, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I don't think they put they put up that we were getting two chases, right? They put up Elite 114, they were like, yeah, we're getting a Chase J and a Chase Jimmy. But they really didn't show off those figures, I don't think, until one day they're like, bam, here they are. And they showcased the gallery and we had the Blue Jay. The Blue Jay, that's kind of a funny line there. But they also had the Red Jimmy and, you know, all those different things, which was fine, which is cool. It's just very weird. Wasn't that we I felt like that was odd that, you know, we don't have any renders here. We have a render of the Solo. We have a render of the Bray. We have a render of the Finn, but no render of the Chase variant. Now, when it says Chase variant black, I just, I don't think it's going to move the needle that much. I don't really know it because we already have two Finn Balors in the Joggers already. We had the Elite 107 figure and we had the Elite 111 figure from a SummerSlam matchup, which had the the white on the lower half. So I highly doubt it would be the Elite 111 in, you know, in an Ultimate Edition form. That wouldn't make sense. But why would you remake, why would you remake a Finn Balor that was already in Elite 107? Why would you make that into an Ultimate Edition? And you guys know that it's probably going to be this attire. Kind of plain Jane, it's just got like the purple on the underside and then he's got black shoes. Wouldn't shock me if that's what they do. I just think that's kind of, I don't know. I think that's kind of, I don't know. It just doesn't move the needle for me. I think that, I don't, I don't know. And the formula is not even that great anyway. But, you know, it is an extra Finn Balor. That is certain to, certainly worth 
worth noting that it is going to be we're getting two ultimate edition Finn Balor's here and we've seen these chase variants do their thing before we got the Vader with the Legends Target exclusive we saw the Yokozuna Legends Target exclusive we saw the Razor Ramon in the one wave there which was cool, but this is another chase variant right here. I think that's all the chases. I could be wrong. If you're not counting the, you know, the the Coliseum collection or anything like that, I think that's that's all the ultimate editions that are chase variants. I, I, I guarantee I'm missing one, but off the top of the dome, I think that's all we've seen there. But again, I could be wrong. But you know, this is it is what it is. I think that you know, I, I don't know. I just think that this is an odd choice, I guess. But maybe they have to include a chase. So instead of doing solo or Bray, they decided to do Finn because it would be a much simpler task. I'm not sure, but not coming with a jacket, and then you have two repeat head sculpts, and then you have the, the same formula on the legs. Really just a disappointing release here. I do like the new torso, which I'm looking forward to, and we're going to try our best at making some different things out of these figures, right? We're going to do our best to try and make anything we can out of these figures, and we'll get on surgery, and you know, we'll have fun with it because I love Finn Balor, and he's one of my top guys, but I don't know. I, I think that this Ultimate Edition is, is what it is, and you know, it'd be something if it were a demon variant, which wouldn't even make sense. They couldn't do that anyway, but I really wish they would have just done WrestleMania 39 Demon Finn Balor in this gear right here, or in this Ultimate set. Instead of doing a Judgment Day Finn, which I know they wanted to because they wanted to put him up next to your Dominic Ultimate, your Rhea Ultimate that's coming with the ring, and your Damian Priest Ultimate that's coming as well in Ultimate Edition Series 25. So I understand why they did that, but it would have been really damn cool to have a Demon Ultimate Edition fan, Finn Balor from WrestleMania 39 from his matchup with Edge. Even though he lost, which he shouldn't have, they could include that Kendo Stick deal. They could do the Purple and Black Demon. There was just so many cool things they could have done. But instead, we are getting this kind of, not lifeless release, but geez, man, there's a lot lacking on this figure. Even though it does have some cool elements, it's still a figure that's lacking in my opinion. But of course, we won't know until we review it. We will review this figure fully on the channel. We'll break down all the details of it and get into everything. But there's a Chase variant. I had no idea about this. And then also, outside of the Chase variant of this, which we don't even know the gear about, it says it's going to be black. So it's going to be even more plain Jane than the white one that we're looking at here. So that's going to be kind of bummy. But then another thing that Ringside Collectibles posted up is they did post up that Ringside Fest. We finally have an update on Ringside Fest, man. Thank God. They said that Thursday, November 21st, so this Thursday, so just a couple days away. The, at the time you're seeing this, could be Tuesday morning, could be Monday night. I'm trying to get this up before Monday Night Raw, but they said that they're going to have Braun Breaker and Liv Morgan coming on, and they're going to do the, the slideshow. I'm sure it'll be John, it'll probably be Tom, possibly, Steve, Bill. They'll get on there, and they're going to have a ringside fest with Braun Breaker and Liv Morgan. It'll be Thursday, November 21st, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, so for me, that'll be 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Not that that will absolutely not be 2 p.m. Eastern Time, you dumb idiot. It will be 2 p.m. Central Time for me, and we will be reacting to that. I wonder if it'll be, you know, I don't think it's a live stream. I'm sure it'll be a pre-recorded, probably hour-long deal, and I wonder if they'll premiere it. If they premiere it, then you gotta kind of wait as it slowly trickles out the reveals. But if they just post up the full hour-long interview deal or whatever, then you can skip through and find the images, and then Ringside will repost those Im images that are clearer and more quality and stuff. And I guarantee on that day, after all of the reveals, like during the reveals, they will probably put up full images, full galleries. I, I guarantee it, and I, I expect to see this figure. I bet on Thursday we will... And it's kind of been crazy because the last couple, like maybe month or so, I feel like over the last month, it's been really, really dry in terms of news. There hasn't been a ton of stuff. Stuff revealed to us. We've gotten some figures in hand. There's been a lot of figures to actually come out and we've reviewed them on the channel and everything. But in terms of newer figures down the line, like the Ultimate Edition Series 24, Ultimate Edition Series 25, some of these other Ultimates that are in the works, some Elites that are in the works, really haven't seen a whole lot of updates or anything. So hopefully on this day, on Thursday, this week, which is great news for everybody, Ringside Fest 2024, Braun Breaker, Liv Morgan will be on the live stream. And everybody is kind of, they're kind of predicting that we'll see an Ultimate Edition Braun Breaker and an Ultimate Edition Liv Morgan in the same line. And I'm trying to think off the top of the dome, do we know Ultimate Edition Series 26 just yet? I don't think we know Ultimate Edition Series 26. I think Muda and Damian Priest are Ultimate Edition Series 25. Or is Muda in 26? 
I can't remember off the top of the dome, but I don't think we know a lot. But I guarantee that these two would be included in that. I could see them doing an Ultimate Edition Liv Morgan in Ultimate Edition Series 26 and then a Braun Breaker, which I don't know. We'll have to see what the figures look like, obviously. You can't, can't really go in. Like, do I really necessarily want Ultimate Editions of those two? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. But I think I'd be more intrigued with a Liv Morgan Ultimate over a Braun Breaker because I think that Braun Breaker's Elites are really good. And Liv Morgan has good Elites too, but I think her head sculpts have been lacking, so I'd be interested to see three new Liv Morgan head sculpts. That would really be intriguing. I'm, I'm excited to see where they go there if that's the case, but nonetheless, they will have new Braun Breaker figures and new Liv Morgan figures. That will be a thing, but Braun Breaker has a really good track record when it comes to elites, so I don't, I'm don't. i not that, you know, enthused about getting a new one of him because he has so many good ones already that it's, you know, I mean, all you gotta do is change the attire and it's gonna be a really good figure more than likely. So we'll have to see those things. But Ringside Fest 2024, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below on what you hope to see, what, you know, you think you will see, all those different things, man. I'm intrigued though. I'm excited to see what we're gonna see and I can't wait for it. But hopefully we'll get new galleries, not just renders. I wanna see full galleries, you know, I wanna see the figures up close and the different angles. And of course, on Thursday afternoon, after they post up that all of that we will cover all of ringside fest reveals here on the channel and i don't know if they're gonna do two days or three i think it's just one day i don't think they're doing anything else other than that i think it's just gonna be one day of reveals they're not gonna be getting crazy or doing anything there i think it is only going to be just the one day which is kind of crazy but you know i think was it not like one day last year they did two or three days if i'm not mistaken maybe it was two days but i'm excited for it hopefully it will be a really good time they'll show us some really good figures and all those different things but i feel Feel like it has been dry out here man i feel like there has not been any news or anything about anything but finally this week we get to say to hell with that brad we're gonna finally see some new figures like you know elite 115 116 117 maybe and different things like that but i'm getting the hell out guys hope you guys did enjoy love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below what do you think about the chase finn balor did you guys already know about that or am i just a dumb idiot clown let me know that down in the comment section below and tell me what you think of ringside fest 2024 but i'm getting the hell out guys thank you for watching subscribe to the channel Huge shout out to our Patreon members, of course, as always. You guys are unbelievable. Thank you guys so very much for your support. I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.